A golden retriever and its owner are united thanks to drone technology. The dog had been lost for months in southern Colorado. If you like heartwarming stories, well, you'll like this. Here's Olivia Young. 82 days. That's how long a golden retriever survived lost in the wilderness of Fremont County. But in all that time, her family never stopped searching for her, and a community-wide effort eventually brought her home. On June 21st, Taylor Salazar's father crashed his car after having a seizure while driving. In the ensuing chaos, Taylor's three-year-old golden Farah was lost. Where nine meets 50 is where the accident happened. And at the accident site, she was scared and ran away. Taylor's dad survived, but the family was missing a key member. Farah had supported them through Taylor's husband's battle with cancer and his passing. We had to find her. She's our family. Taylor posted about her lost dog on Facebook, and the community jumped into action. It blew up. We had, I think, 1,200 shares in two days. Strangers searched for Farah on horseback and ATV. As days turned to weeks and then months, there were several Farah spottings, but no luck catching the dog. They called her the ghost of Eight Mile Hill, so you'd see her and then she'd disappear. As fall approached, hope was starting to dwindle. But then Sunday, the Fremont County Sheriff's Office tried a new strategy to catch the ghost, an infrared detecting drone. They deployed the drone and within 10 minutes they had found uh, Farah climbing into a bush. Taylor's family rushed to the scene and her 10 year old son helped coax Farah out. She hopped through a barbed wire fence and laid in my lap. There wasn't a dry eye at the reunion. I just started crying. My staff that were up there, uh, they were elated. Finally home, Farah is not without battle scars. She lost nearly half her body weight and has a dislocated hip and knee, which her vet says will have to be amputated. She was probably hit by a car at one point. A miracle rescue made possible only by the determination of the sheriff's office and the community to bring home a ghost. She's still a sweet dog that we had when she was a puppy. <laughs> Now, after 10 weeks of starvation, Farah's family will need to slowly reintroduce her dog food into her diet as they nurse her back to her old health. In Cripple Creek, I'm Olivia Young, covering Colorado First. Olivia